Henda, you are now entering a space for black history. Welcome to black excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. We got a hundred and seven views! <laughs> We got a special announcement to make today, 7th of November, mm-hmm. 2020. Give it up for the one and only Saul Peluka. <laughs> So the next milestone, Sol, are you ready for this? We're trying to fill up uh, Sunbet Arena in Pretoria for our one million subscribers what? event. One million? One million. Hey, hey man, I'm scared about this one, Sol. So I brought you guys some presents. Oh. Uh, oh. So I... I knew that this is why you gotta love white people, guys. <laughs> First guest. A little bit wild. G and chill, make G and chill. You ready? We're not making chill. We're not specs. We're not pants. Okay, I'm sorry. We did Nikki Namanje. Then Nikki Namanje gets signed to Get Her Off, and we all know how that story ends. So I was homeless. Anyway, so. I- <laughs> That's a rough one. You, you, you know when you're MCing with like civilians. Wow, they just called you a civilian. <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. When you when you're hosting a show with a non-comedian, you've done that. When we we've done like award shows. Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl, I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, na my L O L. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dollar story. Pets and I'm a guest, and I said more. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Call you all boy like friends like these. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, call the boy boy like friends like these. Oh, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cheese girls, cheese boys, the cheese gang. Welcome to yet another episode of Popcorn and Cheese, featuring myself from Pop Pops Mrigwani and the one and only Robot Salary Salary Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering where we do this podcast of ours. Well, Wonder no more because it happens right here at Stream In Studios. Stream In Studios for all your streaming needs, studio needs, lights, camera, action, Wi Fi, generators. It all happens here. Well, let me tell you something that also happens here. This is a podcast of fests. Not only do we have our first female today, we also have our first Caucasian person here today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together and help us welcome all the way from Pitori, but she relocated and lives here, the one and only Nina, Nina Hasty. What did you be, 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 be. How's it? How's it? What's going on, Nina? What's happening? Uh, we are delicious. How are you? Yeah. Congratulations on this uh, on this show of yours. Thank you. Thank you. We even got, like uh, new, uh, we got new chairs. Chairs, uh, couches. You, you're the first to sit. Thank yes. you. Yes. So I've got many firsts today. I like many, it. Many firsts. Yes, many, many firsts. firsts. So big shout out to uh, 2050 event suppliers. Yes. That supplied us yes. with these chairs. Born. Because they're supplying us. Sweet. And if you want to be supplied by these suppliers... There's a number that we will supply you with. Fakani number. Here, let's put in the number. And they also have a Facebook page. 2050 Event Suppliers. Well done, guys. That was a that that was a not a bad live read. That Thank was you. that was quite good. Thank yeah. You. But I think I'm gonna provide you with some, I'll just give you guys some voiceovers. Okay. For your things, you know, okay. like what's the studio called again? Stream, Stream in studio. Stream in studio. How's that? Yay! Yeah! Yay! Oh, figure, Jay! Please do like a, like a, like a. Okay. A figure, Jay. You're just telling people okay. that. Okay. Stream in there. studio, live for all your broadcast needs. Uh, I don't know. Wi Fi, generators. <laughs> we'll never run out of electricity. Yay! <laughs> Baby, baby, can we get a baby, 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 baby for the thirty-five thousand time? We need a baby, 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 man. No, we do need a baby, baby, baby. But isn't that a yeah? Okay, this I brought you guys some presents. Oh. Uh, oh. So I, 
This is why, I knew that this, this is was why you gotta love white people. Guys, <laughs> first guest to ever bring these other ones. Next! Also, next! Also, first female. So I think it's, you know, they, they like giving. How much is that? More but yes, female thank guests you. on popcorn and cheese. And we've been listening to yeah. you guys. Spetsana my guest, nice and moy. Thanks. That is correct. Um, so uh, I've got milk, chocolate and fudge and white chocolate fudge. I'm not going to let you make that joke, Pops. I, I, I know where this is going. This is a I'm just gonna, show. I'm just going to nip the bud in the tail of the nip fudge. Okay. Hey. So, <laughs> here you go, sir. And here you go, sir. Thank you so much. Made chocolate. I, yeah, I think it's a South African brand. Um, Jack Rabbit. Yeah, I mean, they haven't paid me to do anything, but that's pretty cool. I've had the chocolate before. It's delicious. Oh, so you've had their chocolate? I've had their chocolates. Okay. Hey. And? Hey. Their chocolate was delicious. Thank okay, you okay, much. okay. No, no. I'll... I'll Pops Modiquani. Uh, I'll hey. try the, the, the chocolate, the milk chocolate uh-huh. and fudge. Ah, guys, what the fudge? <laughs> oh, uh, so Thank now so I, I just thought that. popcorn, cheese uh, and... Uh, chocolate. And chocolate. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that's the combo, right? That when you, when you, do you put your things in the thing? I was about to bring that up. Yeah. Okay. Go. That's the weirdest thing I discovered. I was this, what, what do people say? I was say? today, I was I today was, is old. I was old when I discovered that when you go to the movies, you take your Astro. And yeah. you put them in the popcorn. And you yes. them in the popcorn. Yes. Bible cheese. Yes. Game changer. Especially with the, the whispers. I do that with whispers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys. So you, it's, it, cause the salt like adds, it ex- accentuates the flavor of the chocolate hey. but then so, so, then if you so like, it accentuates it, it accentuates the taste of the of the chocolate mm. but the thing is if you're a, a, a if you're a, a, a beverage goblin if you're a, if you're a, a <laughs> I'm a beverage goblin I I'm that I'm that person I want I want everything at the same time if you clap all of that and then someone else must get sour worms so now you you've got your popcorn and you've got the the astros or the whispers inside and then just one or two sour worms in the midst of, of just that, to just to like pellets. cleanse the, the, the pellets. pellets. Mm. Come on, somebody. Takes, you know what I'm saying? Aye, that's admin. This whole mm. process needs a plus one for them to get the sour yeah, worms. Yeah, and, and he has to get the sour worms when he's there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah you yeah. can't go with Nina to the movies and get what you want. It must if you be get sour whispers worms. also. Uh, no, 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 yeah. Current zone. Estros. And it's like a surprise because you're thinking popcorn, popcorn, and chocolate. It's delicious. No, because that's the weirdest. You might as well throw your slush in the popcorn then. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. You need the slushy for like the moments also because, you know, you're waiting for the action sequence so you can... And then then it's like this quiet time. So that's when you take a sip of your slushy. And unless it's at the bottom of the slushy, then you can't be like... <laughs> it's like this scene, the father's crying, the daughter's in hospital. You can't be that guy either. Wait, wait, wait. So, do you even time movie? the way you eat in the movie? No, yeah, you must just you know, wait for scenes. The They're in the hospital. <laughs> Sour worm time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, exactly. It's like it's. Uh... Do you do this at home, guys? That's what I want to know. Mm. Do you guys at home, do you make popcorn? Firstly, there's I'm... no slushy at home. I'm as good to you. Have you ever thrown whispers in a popcorn at house? Yeah, sure. While Netflixing? Well, sure. Whatever. I, I'm a. Soft Guys, life living. No, it's just, I mean, it wasn't, I was, I've lost a bit of weight. There's a reason yeah. why I wasn't. Yes. We, it, we, there we was noticed. a reason that I was, the size that I was. <laughs> I like scrunching on food and watching TV. I love it. But now I make a little bit healthier snacks. What are your snacks now? Mm, actually, that's such a lie. Never mind. Jungle I, Oats I just Bar. <laughs> <laughs> a jungle oats bar, but there's a there's the one with the peanut butter base. Oof, that's the one. The peanut butter base jungle oats bar. Mm-hmm. What color is it? I have the blue one. No, it's the brown one because it's peanut butter. Like no, the wrap is blue. Is so it? So yes, they all yeah, brown. I think, I think, wrap, the, the, I think the, the light packaging one. is different. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm. I read the words. I'm 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 a white person. I dance to the lyrics. I know. Black <laughs> <Like> people. <laughs> <laughs> Black people, we actually don't, you right? We just look at the colors and we decide. Mm. Yeah, let people look crepe and don't And just now it's something else. Not all of us. What? Yes. She says she reads the things. When you just pick and then you. No. Oh. No. Me, me and, and you me can't not. say private school. Mind you, hi. <laughs> 
didn't go to a private school. What school did you go to? I went to Willow Ridge. In Pretoria. In Pretoria. Very model C. In the night, because I'm old. Zero one two. I'm old, old. How old? I'm turning 40 next month. Hey, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> But you according to my soccer player, like, yeah, like for a Caucasian, I did well, though, guys. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, white yeah, people after a while. Yeah, yeah, they... <laughs> they oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Pops. Uh, Pops. No, in terms of aging. You yeah, know, no, in terms yeah. of aging. Also, but, like, black people <laughs> look good for a long time. Yeah. But then, you know, gout. So. Like most of our politicians, you can't tell that. Ah, ah, ah. For the shots are being fired. Yeah. <laughs> you know, said what? Black don't crack, so a better age fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mark out. <laughs> <laughs> and and high high. High high. And sugar die. High high. <laughs> <laughs> so you went to Willow Willow Brook Ridge. Willow Ridge. Willow, Willow Ridge. Ridge. Yeah. In zero one two. Yeah, oh one two. Pretoria East. So um, so it you're was a Pretoria like girl. A Pretoria girl, and also like I mean, it's in the nineties. In Pretoria, so high school vibes, and we were very integrated. It was a young school then. I think the school was only like 10 years old. Yeah. So there were people from like Silver Lakes, people from Mums, people from the Willows. It was like a very mixed, very mixed vibe. So, I mean, for that time, for that time, yeah. like, you know, it didn't exist in other spaces. So we were like, you know, <laughs> Hanging out in mums on the weekend as a white person in the 90s was very strange for other people. But it was one of the best things that that could have happened to me at that age and at that time for me to understand. Because you must remember, like, there weren't shows on TV that showed us anything like... TV channels were like, okay, cool. SABC one is for Zulu people. Mm. SABC two is for Sutu people and Afrikaans people. I don't know why they put them together. Weird it's very weird. Yeah. Um, SABC three was for English for English speaking whites, yeah. and then um, yeah. Bob TV was for Bob TV. Bob has uh, yeah. Zulu. And then I think like everybody else just got lost lost in the mix as well. And yeah. then um, you know, and then on Mnet we were just watching Hollywood. So there was no like you heard Mnet. open time. Oh, it used yeah. To... yeah. And then it used to play. And then it used to At my granny's house. At my granny's house, we had the we had we had the the full bouquet. I think at home we just had open time. It was uh, it was nice to be a granny. It was that open time was nice, and they play those songs in the background and they strawberry lips. Na, 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 na. But it's really me. But it's really we still sing the no one rock set. Rock set. Yes. Wow. That's what they used to play on the thing. Just rock set. Yes. The music. Really? When when the thingy would oh, kick really? off. Oh, really? Was the music? Yes. Um, I used to watch the... Ooh, and try and make out the shit. Kiss me. Yeah. Strawberry lips. That's the widest thing. Hey. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so so what was interesting is I, I got a really good idea of how other people were living because there wasn't really an example of that in in media for us. Well, there was, but we weren't directed in that direction. Mm-hmm. So I think it gave me um, an understanding of what South Africa looks like. You know, people are like, I love South Africa. Okay. Where? Mm. Mm. How? South Africa is the people. Mm. Big bars. You know? what, are, what, are the, what are the divisions of Pretoria for a white person around that time? Because, you know... A white person, the divisions in... Okay, so also Pretoria is a very weird place because there's a lot of second generation white South Africans. Mm-hmm. So after the Second World War, a lot of people came to South Africa uh, because South Africa was one of the colonies, right? The British mm-hmm. colonies. So everybody that was in the Allied side who w- won the war, so it was uh, Italy... Uh, all the, the good guys, right? Who Not Germany. Not hey. Germany. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, who are these good guys? Anyway, so um, a lot of the, the people that were part of the colonies like came here. So there's a lot of like Greeks, Italians, Portuguese, Serbians, you know, like, so my family came here. Well, my mom's side of the family came here in the Second World War. Very like, so it's actually quite a cool story. So my my great-grandfather was a, a, a fighter pilot in the Yugoslav Hectic. And what? he was commissioned to fly out because uh, Yugoslavia, which is now Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, it used to be one country. And um, he flew the 
king of Yugoslavia personally out of Yugoslavia into exile, right? Mm -hmm. Then he was commissioned by the RAF because, again, they were allies. So the the Royal Air Force of England or the United Kingdom commissioned him to come and set up uh, the fighting pi fighter pilots training base here in South Africa, which is, I think, either Swatkops or uh, Vatikluf, one of those two. Yeah. And then he got a an OBE, an Order of British Excellence or whatever, from King George the Sixth when he they, they was like yeah, so he was like quite a before Queen Lizzie. Yeah, he, uh, her, dad, her dad. Yeah, her dad, the one with the TB or the cancer the or whatever. Uh, no, he was always coughing and he had a coughing thing, uh, lung cancer. That's white people scout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> White people's guards is stress. Are you joking? It's so stressful. Hello. No way, Nina. So yeah. your grandfather was a, a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Hectic. And it's actually quite interesting. So I was in South Korea now recently, right? Yes. Do you have a boyfriend there, by the way? One. You guys have such low you, no. expectations of No, me. Nina, you all went to South Korea. No, I love South Korea. So let me tell you a story. So I go, I, I've been watching a lot of K-dramas and I wasn't into K-pop until recently, but I wasn't into K, that's not why I went there, but I'm until, now into K-pop. Until K-pop. Yo, guys, that is a wormhole. And I just, I, you know, for the first three weeks that I got into K-pop, I didn't sleep. I was just watching those videos. And then I find there's a, there's a world of So there's of more memes. than BTS. Well, BTS on its own. Okay, I'm now into the other stuff, but the BTS wormhole, once you go down it, I came up for air like three weeks later, like a crazy person. Like, I, you know, when you're like, <laughs> have you ever spent 72 hours online just watching videos? It's crazy. It is Does addictive. Data, I think that they've... Hey, no, man, let's start with no, the, the fiber and the Wi-Fi. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was mad. Anyway, but 72. let me just take it take it back a step. So I go, I've been watching a lot of these K-dramas. So after three weeks of... of Burying yourself in K-pop and K-drama, you're like, you come out I'm like, going now. No, I'm going no, to no. I'm telling you, I only got into the K-pop thing after I came back from oh, Korea. Okay, okay. So I'm watching K-dramas and stuff. I find it very interesting. And then I hear, you know Tabang Mulea? Uh, you know Tabang Director. Yeah, yes, director. yes, yes. Gomorra. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. uh, happiness is a four-letter four letter word. word. Yes, um, yes. So I hear that his film is being screened in South Korea. Mm -hmm. So I phone him. I'm like, dog, uh, are you going to, when are you going? On Friday, sharp. I'm buying a ticket. Extend your trip. Come, let's go sightseeing. Because now I'm going to a foreign country. It'd be nice to go with someone I know, mm -hmm. you know, and just be in a foreign space yeah. and like travel together. Sharp. We go, we land. It was his birthday party. Well, his birthday, the day we landed. So we went out singing Norebang, you know, like Norebang is karaoke in uh, yeah, hey, Korean. Korean. Yeah. yeah. Norebang. Norebang. Mm. And. Uh, Norebang. Yeah, so we went, you know, not a bang, blah, blah, blah. And then the, the next day was um, Halloween and uh, there was this big tragedy. There was um, like a street yes, party in Itaewon, yes. which is like the, the foreigners area. It's kind mm. of like the long street of... Oh, that's right. Yeah, and there was like this, you know, God loves was you it guys. Was a stampede? It was it's something called a crowd crush. And yeah, basically 159 people were killed. They, were, they, they weren't they were monitoring the... They usually close off that street with cars and stuff, but they didn't. They weren't expecting... You know, it's post-pandemic. People are out. Korea had just opened up. And um, so yeah. Everyone was eager to be everyone out. Everyone was eager so to be out. Like, the the excitement, full, the hype. Yeah, excitement. And what a crush does is... So there's a whole bunch of people. So essentially, like, people's chests were just crushed. Uh, they, they, like, they weren't able to breathe. And yeah... It was just really terrifying. So the whole country was mourning the whole time we were there. So it wasn't like a big turn up, but I did a lot of like sightseeing and eating. Like eating is a really big uh, part of their culture. The, the food, food that side. The, even like you must read uh, articles or, or watch videos with, who's the, the white chef guy that swears at everybody? Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, so Gordon Ramsay says the best food in the world is, is in Korea. There are so many varieties of food. You you can go on a food holiday. What's the strangest thing you Hell yeah, I was about to ask. Hey, sometimes and they, they, they eat tripe. Oh, you know what's so nice? The convenience stores. You can go get tripe now in the convenience store. Mohodu. Yes, bro. You can go get mohodu. What at color the, is it? It's, South, it's, it's spicy. At South Korea, they've got mohodu Monday. Spicy mohodu. <laughs> There's 24-hour mohodu. You can get... Um, you can get anything in the convenience stores and the convenience stores have microwaves in them and like a, like a, those hot water things. So if you just want to, like you're on, it's 24 hours. The one night I couldn't sleep, I was upset about something. So I went at five o'clock in the morning, 
you there's pre pre made rice. You put the rice in the microwave. You warm your mojodo up. You put it in. You go back to wherever you're staying. Like. And they sell uh, alcohol 24 hours. Who has rice and mochodu at 5 a.m.? 5 a.m. Yeah. 5 a.m. I was... I'm not I was, just mochodu. Microwave mochodu <laughs> from South Korea. Yeah, What's no, it was... Here? But they've got everything. Like, it's... Um, and I think the thing that I like the most about the country is this. Artists are revered and respected by the whole country. When you're an artist, whether you're a mm. classical pianist or a ballerina or a rapper or a pop idol or a YouTuber or whatever, artists mm. are respected by everyone. When we say that we're artists, they're like, oh, yeah, this one's going to die poor, you know? Like that's the general consensus of South Africans. And it's only now like he's younger than us, your generation of people mm -hmm. that like, you know, the cotton no. face, they support, they go watch <laughs> shows, they, you know, that. This is a new thing, but in uh, like when we were coming up, it's, it wasn't cool to sing along. Put your hands up in the air. I remember Jason Derulo getting pissed off with people like, "But hey, put your hands up in the air." And South Africans are like, mm, "Put my hands where?" Yeah. Like, I didn't come here to work. Yeah, exactly. Take so work. there's a there's a celebration, and and guys, they've got academies for pop stars. So you're now in standard eight. You know, like you go to like tennis academy after yeah. school. School. But there's pop idol academies. So you go, they teach you go you get become a pop choreography. Star. So you can go to school to become a robot boy. Correct. In, in, in Korea. There's schools. There are schools. There are three major like academies in Seoul. You go to a school. Everybody learns the thing. And and the whole infrastructure is supported for the, the machine to work. So they're, they're like artist management system is, a, is similar to the old Hollywood system. So... Um, Identify talent. So identify talent, sign the talent to the production mm -hmm. house. The production house makes the TV show and sells that to the broadcasters. So they so that still way, have that system in place. They, they have that system in place. but that. So some people think it's exploitative. I'm like, guys, you will always have work. Mm. Uh, and you and their rights, they own stars. their own rights. So when I got there, they're like, oh, you must be loaded. You know, you've, <laughs> like, you've got so many followers. You know, somebody on my level there is very wealthy. Because you own your own, the rights to your uh, face, the, the, the brand, royalties, that name. those kinds of things are paid to actors. You get royalties on your shows. You know what I mean? So for me, what I fell in love with was the respect for the craft of a, 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 an and you, artist. And you feel like we don't have that here. No. I mean, I was hanging out in the studio. This guy's a... Uh, like he makes beats and stuff for people. So I'm like, okay, cool. Let me come through. I've seen so many people make beats in my life. This guy is a classical composer. He's like, little F sharp, B7... Whatever, like proper, even if you're a beat maker, you are classically trained. What everybody is what? trained and everybody respects art. It's like, it's... Do they have comedy there? Um, so they've just started their like comedy scene. So there's a guy called Danny Cho and there's another YouTube guy. You guys should watch the, these YouTube guys. They're called P-Sick University. P-Sick so, University. P-Sick University. Yeah, they kind of remind me of Mac G and Chill. That's kind of got a that and they're kind of, that's different to what you guys do. Oh, that, yeah. oh that's the enemy. Yeah, that's yeah. The, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. We don't talk don't about No, about I'm just, okay, sorry. That. That's I'm fine. Like, who are those guys? Who no, those I'm just guys? saying, uh, th their thing is a little bit wild. Mac G and Chill. Mac G and Chill. You and it. When I'm chilling, I'm a specs, <laughs> I'm a pants. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. So it's like Voldemort. We call uh, them, we I didn't know. I thought we were all family here. You see, this is South Africa's problem. You see, <laughs> now you guys are hating within your own family. No, now we, you guys are wonderful. Here we don't have beef, we've got cheese. So. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey. Let me get my popcorn. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you want to take cut that out, do you guys want to cut that out? No, no, no. Gonna leave it? We, okay. we don't cut yeah, anything. Don't cut. No. Oh, okay. How we feel? Oh, yeah, we don't cut anything. We, <laughs> but what I'm saying is just like from a from from the outset, if you were to do a comparison, there's that. And then there's, you know, there's like mental health. Uh, there's a guy called Eric Nam who does like something called Dive Studios. They've got some podcasts. But, I mean, obviously YouTube is huge there. So if you are a YouTuber... Uh -huh. and streamers. There's even a French guy who does stuff, like a lot of Twitch streaming in French in Korea. A lot of, like... So social media is a machine out there as well, you know? Mm. But to go back to the question, Danny Cho, he's a stand-up comic. He runs Soul Comedy Club. I, I was just so busy this last trip, I didn't get a chance to go to the club and meet him, but we were, like, chatting, and um, they he runs a really cool... Also, he's got those tables 
where there's like a little light, like the old, you know, the like the love factory, the love factory, setup, exactly, yeah. 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 Um, so, but yeah, comedy's only they're quite an oppressed society as well. What I didn't yes. realize is we're we're actually we're very free, and we've got a lot of freedom, right? Mm, so to say much. what whatever we whatever we want, we can rip the president apart, we can do mm-hmm. whatever, you know. So the freedom of speech here is is phenomenal, and the freedom of Expression. Mjolo. Mjolo. Mjolo is like... Oh, they're not allowed to jol. No, no, they jol, but it's like, there's, because like, over here, everybody's like, you know, (laughs) ah, Tinder, guys, Tinder in Korea. People put on their profile, I'm a dominant, I like tying up, I like this, I like that. Oh, they've got like little like percentage of how much of a sub you are, how much of a dom you are, like, and, very so so on the on the surface everyone's like yeah we buy a you know very very nice in front of the visitors ah uh-huh. so there's like in the time, subculture of uh, like, did you hear that ah zero one two one yeah so mm. it's um so co- Korean Tinder is hectic you sure. guys anyway so it's fine I mean they have military training and they have mi- oof, yeah they that and they oh military. another misconception about Koreans those men are giants. Everyone's everyone's like six foot. Everyone's at least oh, one eight five. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. I, just... <laughs> hey, I was gonna. This is a family show. No, I mean like they're really tall people. So okay, they, they've okay, actually got like okay. they've got like a big. Um, uh, I really I want because everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, oh you big in Japan, oh, oh you know, like no Koreans are very tall people. They're very athletic people. Did you watch? Uh, the, the uh, Power One Hundred. What was 100. no? Uh, games. Ah, wait, no, not Squid uh, Games. Um, oh, the muscle one. What was it called? The one with the well, muscle. Uh, physique. F- the physique. The physical one hundred. Physical one hundred. Even Ninja Warrior they used to play. Guys, those guys are fit and they are strong and the chicks like whatever anybody does, they take seriously. Mm. Whatever it is that you do, you take seriously. But there's also, I mean, everybody's got their own thing. There's a lot of like. Um, academic pressure you know yeah, there's like yeah. a lot of suicide and um a lot of depression the government is actually just incentivized they're paying people between 19 and 39 that have been isolating uh, an incentive of 500 dollars to leave their houses what so because because people are isolating after the Imagine, pandemic, no, in okay, let's, let's calculate quickly 100 dollars is, is 1700 so that's 1700 times five that's 5,000, seven times five is 35. That's 8,500 rand. No, a year. To Wait. leave the house. No, $500. $500? $5, $5, dollars dollars Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 85, you're right. 85? Do you so, want the actual number? Because you are both wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 9,000. 9,099. Well, okay, so it's a lot of money. And actually, to, 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 to be honest, I don't know over what period and how that works. Uh-huh. But I, I just read the headlines and I was like, uh, I bookmarked it and I was like, I'll read this article later. Anyway, but uh. the point is, people are isolating. So I was like, well, South Africa's got the opposite problem. We, we just... You would have to pay people to stay inside. Yeah, we always but, in the streets. But also, I mean, you know, there's, there's, everybody's got their own social ills. Ah, this. <coughs> so, okay. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Nina Hayes did get the Come memo. on. Come on. And this table Come on. was Which one is this one? here for hey? her to show off the kick game. Come on. Thank you. Hey? Here at Popcorn and Shoes. You know you've made it in life when your even your shoes have gold teeth. Uh, Come on. <laughs> But you Come know on. that's my weakness, Mus. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you know how many cheese boys and cheese oil, cheese boys and cheese girls who have gold tooth are gonna be in your team. I love, I love me a gold tooth because also I'm, I'm Serbian, right? You know that that's our vibe as well. My aunt used to have a a ruby in her. In, in her, her tooth. tooth. Yeah, so yeah. there's rubies and there's golden tooth. Mm. I think that's it. No, but like... Yeah. <laughs> Nina, yeah, eh? Your aunt was smuggling things between <laughs> countries. <laughs> when your grandfather's like, yeah, we are leaving. The plane is leaving. It's like, let's send it. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing... At customs, she was like this. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to declare? Duck back. Mm-hmm. Duck back. Huh? Mm-hmm. It's funny. Mm-hmm. No one was allowed to make jokes at the airport. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> yeah. No ways. 
Yeah, so, so what 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 would you trip. take what would you take from oh. that place and implement here? Okay, that whole system. But I want to get back to one story yeah, that I forgot. The whole system. Yeah, yes. the whole system. Yeah. <laughs> you would Koreanize us. You want to Koreanize? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like we're gonna lose Nina to Korea. No, no, no. No, she's gonna learn what she can, bring it here, and change the world. Well, the country. When yeah. are we getting married? Oh. Uh, anyway, so no, I just like being uh, understood. I just uh, like being understood. Thank you. Thank you. Now was, you just need a gold tooth. Being respectful. Now I just need a gold tooth. Yeah. <laughs> um so I come back from my first trip. My dad phones me. My 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 biological dad. He's like, "Yo, um what were you do-? He didn't say yo. He said <laughs> yeah, yeah, he didn't say yo. Hey, yo. He was like, "Maguli, uh, uh, what were you doing then uh you know the uh, Korea?" I was like, you didn't want to say what he said next. Yeah. You were like, yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, that guy is so cool. Cool. Yeah, he said so it. so true. It can be said on yeah, a family show. Guys. Not on a family show. <laughs> hey, you come from... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> guys. Oh, he made a movie reference. <laughs> yeah, I covered that one. <laughs> hey, I wasn't there by Bruce Lee in it. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty uh, much. Uh, pretty much. My dad's a uh, problem. Hey, my uh, <laughs> So, so anyway, I come back and he said, you know that your grandfather flew in the Korean War? What? Guys, because when I got there, I've traveled, you know, I've, I've been to other places in the world. I never went, hmm, south of France, I'll move here. You know, like, sorry, it's just dropped a location. Um, <laughs> uh, but when I got there, I was like, oh, I could, I could live here. I could live here. My soul definitely sings when I'm in this place. Or oh, I feel like I've been here before. Definitely I had the feeling I feel, I feel like I've been here before. And then I was like, there's nothing in my DNA that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Korean or Asian. Like, So anyway, that made sense. So it turns out, so my grandfather was, my father's father was brigadier in the South African Air Force. And so this is the other so side of the family, also military. Say brigadier. Brigadier. Yeah, we used to be brigadier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what the chest. So and he was a, yeah, brigadier in the South African Air Force, and he led uh, Squadron Two, which was the support squadron from the South African Air Force to Korea. And there's a whole, and again, I ran out of time, but there's a whole dedication to him in the Seoul Military Museum. And I just didn't no. know. Oh, that yeah. is so cool. Yeah, so I'm going back in, in a few months. I'll be able to go and do like a whole thing. And like, so. As That's a result, crazy. there's like this whole like there's a scholarship for like war veteran descendants and but I think I'm too old now. I think after forty yeah, they yeah, cut you yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you have this, yeah. You have this but year. even the fact that that there is a there is a thank no, you. She has a month. Yeah, a month. I have a month. Yeah. yeah, your grandfather had too much petrol in that plane. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> you said you know how long next week. Is. <laughs> no, no, no. There's, that's di- on the different side. I come from a military family on both sides of my family, so it's crazy. Anyway, so but, so everyone, yo, you guys um, are fighters. Hey, <laughs> have you met me? Yeah, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. So so everyone in your family is essentially war fighters. Military. military. I can go into the people. whole history of my family if you'd but like. You That's then, very interesting. You decide to become... A comedian. A comedian. I know. What was up but, with that? But before you that... You started as a comedian. No. You started as a rap. <laughs> what oh. was your rap name? I had two rap names. I had two versions of my career. I had, I had my rap name when I had a fake British accent. <laughs> What? <laughs> Hectic. Okay. Guys, I was on bad drugs. Okay, I was on bad drugs. Um, so wait, your first rap alias... You was acted- McNasty. McNasty. Yeah. McNasty. McNasty. Because, no, but think about it. MC, microphone controller. Got you. N-A, Nina Alexandra. Got you. Hasty. Say it fast. McNasty. McNasty. Oh. The, the H is silent. Okay. And then McNasty. where did the British accent come from? Oh, I was just listening to a lot of peaches, which I cannot say on this show. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 like you wanted me, howling me. Uh, it's, 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 so do you still have... Garage. Do, do you still remember some of your raps? Mm, I wanted, yeah, as, as Nikki Namanje. So Nikki Namanje was my other rap alias. Namanje? Nikki Namanje. You remember the stuff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, yes, sorry. I just spoke to you in Korean. <laughs> ah, we've lost her. <laughs> <laughs> She's been captured. Ah, guys. <laughs> Oh, we are busy here. Popcorn. Yeah, ni hao. That's Cantonese See, I, Mandarin. I'm like your dad. Yeah, uh, yeah that's how, exactly. How do I say which one is this one? In... Ni hao, uh, ni hao. Uh, <laughs> which one is this one? I'm trying to think of what they would say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. My, my, my Korean isn't that deep yet. I, I want to know if you have any 
McNasty. Okay, no, McNasty Mac- or Nicky Namanje? You we'll still both. remembers we'll Nicky Namanje. No, but I've done McNasty before. It's I've, I've like people have seen that clip. But okay, do you want me to do both? Okay, yeah. it's terrible. If people have seen this clip, it's boring. I'll do Nicky Namanje rather. Okay, do the one you're comfortable with. And even if you swear, it's fine. We'll bleep it out. Oh, yeah, no, actually, let me do it a cappella. You know I don't have rhythm. Oh, cut the beat. Oh, cut the beat. Oh. DJ T Rex, cut the beat. <laughs> But okay. I just wanted to hear the British accent. The British and accent. You, okay, okay, fine. It's terrible. It's so bad. Nina, so it goes this like this. Is the most awkward podcast. All right, fine. Fifteen. What this podcast? Yeah. With yes. my episode? No, no, this no, no, no. Oh, it's oh. Okay, I was. Yeah, she was about to bring out the war in her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Where's my pilot? Where's my plane? Um. Okay, so guys. 15 inch ruler, dictator, hater, back of the class school ruler, expel drug user, don't come confuser, do what I choose, her. don't follow no loser, boozer, cruiser, step to me wrong, I'm a bruiser, facilitate, I'll give you hate, I'll give you hate, detention sessions, worthless lessons, to fix, messed on misconceptions, half hooked directions, adolescent porn collections, what I'm saying is I'm saying it's true, family and your entourage too. Oh! oh. Be, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, be, 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 be. that was the sounds of McNasty. McNasty yeah. was terrible. McNasty was terrible. Was oh, that Nicki Namanje? Oh, no, Nicki Namanje. Nicki Namanje. gave way to Nicki Namanje. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Nicki Namanje was, was a bit more cultural appropriate Okay. Uh, yeah, because initially I was trying to appropriate That's from the right. appropriators. And then you came And then, like, I, oh, then I was like, no, let me do this properly. Wabuya kind. <laughs> Where my cornrows at? You know? <laughs> um, one here. Yeah. Ah, literally, just one cornrow. And then I was like... Then with this, because actually it was supposed to be a parody thing, because it was supposed to be like a Spikos or uh, Cooler Box or whatever. Yeah. It was supposed to be that kind of thing. So I was like, Nikina Shout out to Pure Munati. Yeah, Pure Munati though. It was Shout like the Chris foundations, Forrest. you know. Chris Forrest was a guy called Cooler Box. Did you ever Cooler see his rap? Cooler Box. My name is Cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm in that. Uh, I'm in that video. The music video. Yeah, when he goes, come on, come on, and then gaan ons nai, and then I'm there with a the sewing machine because. Because nai also means to sew, but also... Thank you for hey. that for the family show. Ladies and gentlemen, it means yeah. so. I can make clearer than nai. I can make clearer than nai. Made fun. Yeah, the, robot. Don't you want a nai as G? Yeah. Why? Can I know brook nai? Can I brook nai? Nai, nai. Nai, nai. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, then, so, so then I, I... Do you remember Marcelo? Mutana. Marcelo, Marcelo Mutano. She was an actress. She was one of the. She was one of the first ever um, studio live. What's that thing that Bonang also did? Live then, amp. Live amp. She was, I think, one of the first live amp presenters. Is that a real name? Does she have a Marcelo. Name? Marcelo. Anyway, but her her character when we were doing this, we were developing these characters. We had a few. We did um, Julia Malema and Helen Zilla, and then um, we we would go out in front of the like high court, and we had a fake party called Hope How. One party, everything. And then, um, like, we had, like, a fake manifesto. And, you know, like, our manifesto was, like, l- long weaves for everyone. Long weave, Julia Malema, long weave. And, like, it was a whole thing. It sounds and, amazing. Yeah, it was really cool. But this was before the internet. So we were just doing it and we would just get, like, press in the newspapers. We would be in the newspapers. But this is a long time ago. But and anyway. That's how you knew it trended. Is it, yeah, it as if it was in the, the papers. Paper. Uh, so then, um, then one of our, the, our next so you characters. You were the missing way back in the mm. paper. Yeah, anyway. So, so then we did Nikki Namanje. Then Nikki Namanje gets signed to get her off and we all know how that story ends. So I was homeless. Anyway, so. I- <laughs> yeah. That's a rough one. For all the people in the ghetto. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so let's take a glance. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, uh, anyway, so but no, I mean there was there were there were lots of things happening at that time. But Nikki Namanje, she had this rap, and um, it's a it's a song about uh people with tenders. Uh huh. You know, tender men. Yes. Mm-hmm. Not like Barry White, different kind of tender men. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the song is called Tender Men. Uh huh. Yo. <laughs> Nikki and Manja on a mic, right? What it is? <laughs> <laughs> Flicking my weave, long weave. What? <laughs> so she goes, My tender man takes care of my needs. Oh, by the way, so Nikki's got a different accent. She's from the Bronx. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bronco Sprit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, you gonna say she's from London, <laughs> East London? Yeah, exactly. Nah. She's from Port Elizabeth. Okay, so so, <laughs> so from the Spring, from the Bronx, <laughs> from the Bronx. Spring. Yeah, so she goes, yeah. My tender man takes care of my needs. My tender man, let me bleach my knees. My tender man won't leave his wife for me, but my tender man paid for these double D's. Tender man better be with at least a billion, cause my wax and my weave are Brazilian. Oh! Another baby, 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 baby. Yo, your flow, your, fl- your flow game is dope. What? I told you to put me on your album, but you wanna put the pops. I'm all hey, pops hey. With his. Rapidly, rippity raps. Number cheese. Aba jazu guti tina si tendi breeze. Aircon is on. Nje nge roll on. I win. Which one is this one? I was gonna say uh, a Papa Penny, but that's more like a Makwa Penny. Oh. This is the weirdest podcast ever. Hey, hey. I won't lie. <laughs> hey, I won't lie. Nina Kapina. Guys, there's a reason I am who I am. You guys forget, eh? You guys oh, forget. And, and that's, tr- a, that's a big thing about you. Is that, like a lot of people have this public perception of you. Mm. And like two minutes sitting with you, you realize there's so many more layers mm. to you. Like a lot more layers than could it like you'd even forget about all these things. How do you manage that? Severe mental health problems. <laughs> no, I've got ADHD, right? And I think um, I didn't know that I had ADHD until literally last year. So I've I've struggled with my mental health. Yeah. yeah. So I, I thought I was just bipolar. So that's what they diagnosed me with. But they first thought I had depression. Then they thought I was bipolar because I would be down and then I'd be up. And But people didn't know enough about mental health at that time. Like the... There's been new research, right? Mm -hmm. Because ADHD presents differently in women. And ADHD isn't necessarily about everyone goes, oh, look, a butterfly. I'm so easily distracted. No, it's not about being easily distracted. It's about the fact that it's actually about impulse control for a large portion of it. So that's why a lot of people with ADHD land up with alcohol and drug uh, problems because they don't have the... um, the inhibitors, they aren't in- inhibitors in their brain from doing things. People are like, oh, can you just think before you speak? Think before you speak. I literally don't have that button in my brain, but mm-hmm. I'm now correctly Same. medicated. And you know what a what freedom it is to be able to think before I speak? Do you know how liberating it is to be able to think before I speak, to not want to get out of my car? And be- I also had a very serious rage problem for a long time. Like I just freak out, snap at people. But actually what was happening is, was major anxiety and ADHD. So I'd be in stressful scenarios and I'd like say whatever I would say. And it also affected a large portion of my career. And then people were like, ah, oh, she's just white. N- no, I've got mental health issues and I, I didn't even know about them. And, and then it's embarrassing because you've got these mental health issues, you're behaving badly. And then you go on the apology to, I'm sorry about what I did yesterday. I didn't have control. They're like, control yourself, but you can't. Also, so you didn't understand. I didn't you understand. Aware, it. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. and it, this happens to a lot of people, but and that's why I'm trying to do the work that I'm really trying to do. I'm trying to just help people understand themselves and just bring light to these things. Because when I'm saying this, there's stuff that you can relate to, right? There's people yep. in the studio. You guys can relate to this stuff. Pops, yeah. you can. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And, definitely. So, and also like with with people that cross over from ADHD into addiction, like proper addiction, they, mm-hmm. they have the alcohol allergy. We call the alcohol allergy. So some people can will will look for self-medication and alcohol, whatever, but they still manage to live their lives because they're not allergic to alcohol. Some of us are allergic to alcohol. So this year I'll be 10 years sober in October. So... Ten years clean. Yeah. Ten years sober. That is dope. Shout out. Yeah. Nikki Namanji. On a mic right. What is it? sober Namanji. Yeah. Come on. So yeah, I mean, guys. So what 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 made you what made you not what made you, what sort of motivated you or inspired you to stop drinking? Were you aware? Of what you're explaining now, 10 years ago. Bro, you knew me then. Yep. Did I have a choice but to sober up? Yeah, you had to. Otherwise, we were No, I would have died. Lose you, yeah. Mm. Hectic. Yeah. No, I would have died. How hectic was this? Ask Pops. No, I don't want to ask him. Ask, no, ask Pops. It was bad. Ish. It was, it was, it was, I don't know. Brr, brr. Yo, I'm at this place. I don't know how I got you. Come get me. 
Oh. Often. Oh, yeah. Not just once. I don't know who these people are. I don't know where I am. I'm at the yeah. Swaziland border with Trevor Gumbi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That time Trevor said he's going to buy milk. Upuma <laughs> Jotang <laughs> is the sense of Swaziland. No ways. It was it was it was proper bad. No, it was yeah. it was bad. And also, I mean, remember the the people I was hanging out with at that time. Remember that person? And uh, did you know that that person was was hitting me really badly? No. Mm. Because he would have died. Yeah. But anyway, so, yeah, there was, yeah, there was bad, I was going to die. Mm. So I had to make a change. Did, was it, was it your family that pushed you? Was no, it, was it you, my family you had go? cut me off. Everybody cut me off. No, what happened is eventually I was like sleeping on a floor at this like trap house in Bramfontein with mm. this like trap drug dealer, what, what person, sure. foreign national person who was a rapper, but out of jail. And I was sleeping on this floor Heck. and Ooh. even, <laughs> I'm not going to mention other, there's famous people that were, were also in that space, but it was a bad time. And this guy was like physically like, he, mm. he, I still can't hear properly out of my right ear. Do you know, I don't know if people know that when you, when somebody hits you so hard in the face that all your blood vessels in your eyes burst. So my eyes were red like all the blood vessels in my eyes burst and he'd, he'd hit me so hard. My whole body was bruised. And then mm. I didn't, and he also wouldn't let me out. So now it became like this weird Stockholm syndrome thing. Oh God, this is sounding like such prisoner. a prisoner. But yeah, but so some money from a voiceover from six months, you know how the advertising industry works. You only get paid for a job six months three down months. the line or three months, months down yeah. the line. And some money came into my account and I had enough money. Somehow I had my, you know, my grand's golf. The, yes, the golf the one, one. You shouldn't have sold. Yeah, sorry. Oh, oh I wanted and, that yeah, so bad. But yeah, he really wanted Mark it. Mark 1 or Rigi, Rigi, Rigi. 76. Car junkie. 1976, mm. bro. Oh. But how many times did that car break down that you guys had to come and save me from my car breaking down? <laughs> Between you and Tolas. Yo, anyway. So anyway, that car was parked at their place. But you know, that car was like, it was in a very bad state. So it actually shouldn't have been driven anyway. So I drove it from Bromfield into the airport and I left it in the airport parking lot. And I got, I waited for the airport to open. And this was like in the middle of the night and I waited for the first flight and I bought a ticket and I flew to Cape Town because I remembered my aunt's phone number, the house phone number, and I remembered where she lived. And I caught a bus and I just pitched up at her house with this blue eyes and the, the red eyes and the blue rings and the, in the state that I was in. I no mean, it must way. have been quite traumatizing for my aunt and her family. But because the rest of the family would cut me off. And my family mm. also said to her, like, don't give her any money. Don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, don't mm-hmm. let like her. Like the last straw. Yeah. And then I got a waitressing job um, because I said, Let, can I just stay here for two weeks? Let me get a waitressing job. I'll go get a waitressing job. Now, you must remember, before that, I was... So this is now at like 29 or 28, 29, like just before my 30th. And before I was like, cool, I'd already been doing stand-up or I had a job at Sony. This is like a fall from grace. You know what I mean? So to get a waitressing job at that age when you've already been on stage and you've been on TV, it was like, you know, Mm. it was humbling. It was a humbling Mm. experience. so hard, like mentally. Yeah. I remember, (laughs) I remember, so I get this waitressing job and I start, uh, so the, the first group of people like no this pitch is great sorry this woman is crazy mm-hmm. um even on cape town standards you you're a lot so they they're like you know what you know where you should go get a job is at madame zingara the other people are crazy like you so i i, I joined what is, the circus what is madame it's a circus it's a circus it's a circus so an I, actual circus an actual circus no animals but a circus you know with trapeze like and acts whatever. and like yeah, Trampoline and but they didn't the think i was talented enough to be in the show itself so they let me waitress at the circus so I waitress and then you dress up in different things. And then the, the tent moved up to Joburg. So what, why I wanted the job with Madame Zingar is it provided accommodation as well. Mm, so you come up with a crew, then I had a place to sleep oh, and I had a place to work and I could earn some money. Um, and during this time, are you still drinking? Are you still drinking? Ah, drugs? those guys. Because I, I stayed clean for those two weeks while I was with my aunt and oh, uncle. Yeah. But then and I... When you got went, to the circus, yeah. it was a circus. Yeah, night. yeah, yeah. It was mad. We were like taking MDMA in the middle of the day. They were, oh. Like, no, no, no. Everyone was like, yo, oh, that was... Th- th- that's when my hair started falling out. Mm. I remember yeah. that period. Yeah. That's, so, so your alopecia started... During, in the circus. In the circus. Mm. Because you're wearing wigs, you're stressed out. Wigs are also really bad for alopecia. Like, it, if you already got a, a 
propensity or whatever to have alopecia and you're wearing wigs, it suffocates the follicles. Even there was a time I was wearing a cap in the gym every day recently. And then that strip started getting thin where the, where the cap was. So if you're prone to alopecia, don't wear wigs. Don't cover your head. Let it breathe. I think that's also why my hair grew back fast because I didn't cover it. Then I just shaved it all off until it yes. all... And then I got the tattoo on the side of my head. What went through your mind? Like you've... Yeah. You mm. endured so much. You, you've you lost everything. Yeah. You fall from grace. Yeah. Now you're losing your hair. You've yeah. lost everything. Now you're losing your oh, hair. Oh, I was like, no one's ever going to love me. I'm so unsexy. It, it did a lot for my... My self-esteem was... Yeah, it was very low for a long time. I think I'm finally, I think that's also like all the relationships I got into, even after I was sober, mm. because my self-esteem had taken such a knock, I was really kind of dating people that were mean to me for a long time afterwards, you know? So I think now I'm okay. I've got really high self-esteem now. So when did, you, when did your hair start growing back? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe like a year after that. Okay, so I, I'm still drinking. All right, so my hair falls out. Then now my hair, my parents are like, oh, shucks. This girl is, this girl actually needs our help. I'm like, listen, I'm working. I promise you I'm going to sober up. I'm, I've got a job. I'll come home. I'll drive the skor -kor. Um, I even stayed with my grand for a bit, terrorized her. Shame that was bad. But like, uh, they were like, okay, you've got a, fixed period of time mm -hmm. there's a sleeper couch you can sleep on the sleeper couch every morning but you have to make it a couch in the day again because it's, you mustn't get comfortable this is not your bedroom this is a, i was sleeping in the study and yeah so i think it took me a month and then i sat down and i looked at my life and i was like well you need a plan because this is unsustainable so i looked i did a swot analysis on myself and i i, I was like okay well if you're the business what, what do you need to do to make the business work? Okay, you mm. need the engine. Okay, what is the engine? Your brain. So then you need to fix your brain. What does your brain need? It like needs to not be on skin. alcohol. Okay, cool. It needs to not be on alcohol. It needs other things. I couldn't afford. My parents also, my parents aren't exceptionally wealthy or anything. They couldn't afford. And they also didn't want to help me. So I went to like um, support groups. If I could get a lift. Do you remember, everyone was always giving me a lift to comedy. Pops, please drop me off. How many people drop me off in Pretoria? Um hmm. So, yeah, and then also not only that, so now I'm, I've now decided I'm going to change, I'm going to do this stuff. I'm not re-entering society on zero. Okay, Nina's ready. Everyone, no one wants to work with me. I've been unreliable. I'd be drunk at gigs. I would. So you're entering society in debt. Like reputation mm -hmm. gone and almost blacklisted yeah. in the Yeah, game. you're blacklisted. Nobody wants to work with you. So I just became exceptionally good at responding to emails and answering my phone because that's things that other artists don't do. I was like, just answer your phone no matter what. Answer your phone, answer an email. If somebody sends a thing, respond. And then what I would do is I would write uh, CVs and just send it to people all the time. So I had also a media list and then I'd phone all the different media. I'd phone the Sunday Times once a month. Hi, it's me, Nina again. They're like, yes, Nina, we know who you are. I'm like, listen, I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm doing this. Maybe you can do a thing. Yes. Okay. So I would, I, I had a media list and I would go through it. I would email them. I would phone them. Um, I would send so CVs to people. I was relentless. I was like, I will, I will make people believe in me. I will, I will show them. So was home your rehabilitation? I suspect. Or, or, or did you, so you, so when you decided I'm stopping all of this. Yes. It happened at home. You didn't go to a facility. No, I didn't go to a facility. I went to AA um, on the 16th of October, 2013. Um, I got a lift. I think, yeah, my mom, uh, I heard about a meeting in Santon. I think they, it was close to the Gautrain. Mm. So I could get onto the Gautrain from Pretoria to get to that meeting at like, I think it was 6.30 on a Wednesday. And I listened to this one chick do a share. And a share is when like you're in the AA rooms and everybody talks about their story of what it was what changed and how it is now, you know, how it was and mm. what changed and how it is now. And she explained about binge drinking because there's different people with different stories. So some people were like, yeah, I hide bottles in the thing and I drank every day. No, I didn't drink every day. I was a binge drinker. I would drink until I blacked out, until I'd be uh, in a place where you, it, it, that put me in danger and often danger and bad, yucky things happen to me because of that. Um, and then because of the blackout, I often didn't remember enough details to 
follow up on that stuff, hectic. you know? Yeah, that's so hectic. So, yeah, on three occasions, bad things happened <laughs> to me. Um, but I listened to this chick share and I was like, oh, I'm an alcoholic. Oh. And then I re- I actually went with my friend. Do you remember, I, I'm not going to mention her name, but do you remember that one girl that I was always with? In, uh, yeah. Uh, and she said uh, to me, uh, she thinks she has a drinking problem. So I took, I went with her. That's to what happened. Her. To take oh, so her. You, you oh, found out. You were I, I was oh, her. Yes, and then you realized. Yes, yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. That's what happened. No, yeah. And Let then when I listened to her, I said, oh, oh, I'm an alcoholic. And then that lady that did the shit is still my sponsor to this day. I just spoke to her. Two minutes ago, oh, she's married. Oh. She's got two kids. She's my friend. We still what is a sponsor this in this? Country. A sponsor is like a mentor in the AA program. So somebody that, so part of the twelve steps. So so a twelve step program isn't like AA meetings aren't where you like get together like don't drink, Dave. It's bad, but I want <laughs> to. No, don't do it. That's not that. Such a voiceover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, she did uh, three people. <laughs> don't drink. No. no, come on, it's not. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, wh- uh, 12 it's a twelve-step program of spiritual enlightenment. Mm. It's about getting closer to God, so that you don't fill the emptiness in your soul with alcohol, but you fill it with whatever you deem to be your spiritual thing. And because you went through this, Nina, I feel like that's where the Nina we know today was mm. given birth to. Yeah. You know, because. People only know, like, that's where you blew up. Yeah. Right? I blew that's, up so hard. Yeah. So how long did it take after you, like, sort so of... So I made a five-year plan. Yeah. And I achieved it in two. I... I yeah. Come on. I... What did you come on. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah, I won't lie. Because some five-year plans take eight. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Especially at UJ. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you joking. Ah, uh, you joking. Uh, that's funny. That's cute. That's cute. So people now know this new Nina, right? And that's tut, what tut. that's Sorry, what people that was a TUT joke. Never mind. Uh, hey, there's no Nina. jokes there. Hey. 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 We were doing so well. We were, we were doing, doing so, so well. well. Okay, Karen, Karen. We were doing so well. So people know this like this new Nina now, mm. right? Um, so you 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 blow up now. Now you're the Nina Hasty, mm. right? Mm. And then you get on to you had a show on SABC three. Mm. Yeah, you know. Also, the the problem is, so they they also there was a role that I was playing. I wasn't writing the script for trending. None of us trending were. We went yes. for trending yes. essay. Mm. We weren't allowed to contribute. Yeah, I've always wanted to, to be on that show. Sorry. Did we never get you? Zero. Askies. I wasn't in charge of anything. I had no control. We had no control. You went on the show. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. It wasn't me. I had a great time when I was there, mm. Nina. <laughs> it was the biggest show in the country. It, it was, was the biggest show. It was, and I was there. <laughs> like I'm going to be at the one million subscriber <laughs> event. Hey, hey. On the 15th of July. Hey. Yes, Nina. <laughs> so you're on the biggest show. You're on the biggest show on television at the time. Mm. Is this where you'd say your career kind of like took a different turn? Um, yeah, sure. But uh, the thing is, my strategy. So when I, we go back to that thing, that little, that SWOT analysis and that strategy was to serve something. Mm. Okay. And this, what it was trying to serve is I was trying to get on stand-up stages. Mm. And I wasn't getting on stand-up stages because I wasn't famous. So I was like, let me solve for the fame problem. Mm. Get the name. Get and the then name and then you can do all the stuff. But mm. I was on that show for three years and the show was shot live and it was shot at night. So I was in a live studio and that's when stand-up was happening. Mm. So what was happening is I was growing as a human being, but I wasn't spending enough time in the stand-up Achieving world what you because I couldn't to do, do those things. Also because there's, you know, like, so at the same time. And as a result, my comedy didn't grow. Sorry. My comedy didn't grow at the same pace as what I did as a human. I still think I've I've only just figuring myself out now. Well, I feel like this last 20 or well, 15 years or whatever it is of stand-up, I feel like I was just on the treadmill warming up. I feel like I've only just figured out who I am. 
Mm-hmm. And I've only mm-hmm. just formed my opinions. And I feel like I've only just started my career. I feel like sure. everything is oh, like that. That sounds so exciting. I am so it excited. It does. Like, it sounds, I I'm mean, so excited. Nabu no, Morgan Freeman from a certain age. Mm. We didn't know them when they were. So now it's. No, but that that feeling, man, that like feeling of like, I finally understand this thing. And I yeah. know it and I got it, yeah. you know? Uh, I understand why I was where I was, and now I understand where I'm going. Mm. It's a dope place to be in. Mm. So, obviously, you did this to try and build your stand-up, right? Mm. Now, you are in your stand-up game, right? Mm. Here comes here comes the Netflixes and the this and mm. that. And I still am, so I hate that Netflix special. I feel like it was flat because it was in the middle of the pandemic. And like, we I didn't have time for stage We didn't have to stage and, time. Yeah. We were... We were we were all a bit rusty, even yeah, though yeah. you and I see we have something in common on stage, and that is the zazazel. The zazazel. We can mm-hmm. we can zazazel without material, and it's our strong suit, but it's also our weakness because now they're asking us for a script, <laughs> a script. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm now so busy trying to stick to the script, and I don't have a good memory, which is why I'm so good at improv. I can. Playing with an audience because that's I've t- I've learned because I'm I know I'm not gonna remember but I know I know how to play with you until you know that yeah. that moment uh-uh, happens. Uh-uh, uh-uh, why, uh, why did you make that sound when Nina said I know how to play with you? Which a friendly show. No, I was okay. Sorry, thank you for the. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. What? But what were you? What were you gonna say? I was gonna say that. I, artists generally are not happy with their work, mm. right? So I don't, I feel like the accolade of you being considered, because this was six comedians that were there. Yes. Uh, the accolades of you even being considered for something that huge is already in itself for me uh, a a plus. And I feel like... An achievement. Yeah, okay. an achievement. Okay, and I've thanks. spoken to Pops and all yeah. the other acts and none of them were like, oh, my set was great. Oh, yeah. okay. We're all not happy with Oh, this. okay. I'm mm-hmm. so glad because I've been like, don't watch my Netflix show. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm like, uh, 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 yeah, uh, like, I don't feel like I have a... Also, I haven't done what I've needed to do as an artist. I don't feel like there's a body of work. Illegacy. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> Illegacy. Yeah. As Java would say. Yeah, yeah, as Java would say. Was that in the same period as your essay Hip Hop Awards tender also? Yeah. Because you were killing those. Yeah. So I had, they'd offered me another year as well, but I turned it down because I was trying to take my brand in a different direction. So I did Hip Hop Awards two years and then I was supposed to do another year. Yeah. Um, but it was correct that I was doing, because everyone's like, what's, who's this chick? Why is she doing the Hip Hop Awards? Guys, Nikina, they don't know. Nikina. They don't know you. Then you Abba killed was. it. Then I have a it. No, I did. I did kill yeah. those awards. Yeah. Oh, and then, oh, you know, it was nice. So, okay, so you say an artist is not always happy. Uh, the Comics Choice were this weekend. And then, uh, I mean, way out was this weekend. Comics, Comics Choice, Choice was awards. this weekend. And you know who won an award? KG. KG. Yeah. Shout out to KG. KG She's gang. KG took home the best solo. KG was here, uh, episode three. Robbie Collins took home comic of the year. That's yeah. big. By the way, yeah. 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 Nina, you were nominated. I was nominated in two categories. I'm not sure what they were, but I didn't win. But that's yeah. okay. I was supposed that's to, keys, I came keys, on to keys. present the, or I was supposed to co-present the final award of the year with yeah. Gola. And Gola was the host. And, um... Comedian of the Year is a final award. There's 10 yeah, awards, yeah. it's a final award. Cool. So I'm backstage. I can hear this guy's gone off script and I can hear he's about to go. And the nom- I'm like, ah. So I walk onto the stage. So I'm like, sorry, hi, hello, hi. Sorry, but Yeah, and then he realizes. Snap, I forgot oh, to call her oh out. Oh, God. But now, I, so I just start roasting him. So I'm like, you may be, you may be brilliant at your stand-up, but I will... I'm a much better host than you. Hey. I will host the <laughs> out of a show. <laughs> and everyone's like clapping. Now I'm roasting him or whatever. But, it, but it, I've, I've got the clip. I, like, guys, it was such, you know what was so nice about that moment? You know when, you, you, you know when you're emceeing with like civilians? Wow. They just called you a civilian. <laughs> no, surprise. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. When you when you're hosting a show with a non-comedian, you've yeah, done that. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. We, we've done like award shows yeah, where... Yeah. Or, or corporates or whatever, and we're hosting with non-stand-up comics. Then Civilian. they try and be 
funny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, Cringe. okay, it, no, it's not. It's 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 irritating because they don't understand our craft, so they don't give you. Irritating. Yeah, it's irritating because they don't know to yeah, give no, you space to land your gag. So not only are they not funny, they're not they're making you not be able to be funny because they want to get through. And yes, the timing, and the next time, everything you're is, doing. I'm busy landing a gag. Yeah. <laughs> Candice, I don't know who, uh, like, you know. Wow. Ah, who about Candice? I don't know. I don't know who there's a Candice. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. No. I was just ah. trying to put a name for her. No, oh, no, no, no. Candice, no. why are you disturbing me? No, we love Candice. We love Candice. Oh. Um, uh, Pops. Dude, you've been doing comedy longer than, than you've been alive. Trevor yes. Noah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, uh, the yeah. same time as Trevor. You've That's been doing crazy. comedy longer than Skumba. Trevor, Skumba. Mm. All the... I was How... just really bad. No, no, I, I just want to... <laughs> just took me long to get better. It's something that I was committed to, but I, but you know what's so nice? Let me tell you something, TC. I'm good at everything. So everything is boring for me. Stand-up is hard, and that's why I like it so much. It's something I'm not naturally good at. I'm a black belt. I've represented South Africa. I went to the school for gifted children. I had straight A's. I had 97% for science. I've, I've been good at everything my whole life. I'm not good at stand-up. It gives me joy. Yeah. Oh, which one is this one? No. Yeah, just you clapping. Just you clapping. <laughs> <laughs> you had black belts. Uh, hey, that's yeah, powerful. Yeah, powerful. That's powerful. Powerful. No, I'm, I'm not. No good wonder you're going to Korea. That's one. That's one. You know what? You know what else I love? Yeah. What? I, one thing I've realized about myself. I love stand up. I, I love performing stand up. I love artists. Creating. I love creating. I love watching other people create. And it gives me joy to see other people create whatever it is. So when I see you shining, because a lot of people think I'm sus, because I'm always, I'm such a fangirl. I'm like, I love you, I love you. Like on all artists, even the Korean artists are like, why is this verified account? Like, you guys are so cool. Because <laughs> that, that's not their vibe. But also everyone, I'm, I will promote your stuff. I will shout your stuff out. I'm a fan because I am not afraid of someone else doing well. A mountain is not threatened by a river. Mm. I, you know? Uh, mm. Mamela, a mountain is not threatened by the rivers. You speak so <laughs> <laughs> listen, comedy. If you had if you had to do your like your own show, right? Yeah. Who are who are the top five? Like, give me a lineup, your your ideal lineup. Where yep. who's uh, where are we doing South the show? Africa. SA show. I you know when she said, where are we doing it? Just Five to be minutes. sure. On the 30th of June. <laughs> July. 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 Disappoint who, me again. Carvin Goldstone. Carvin Goldstone. I absolutely Carvino. love Carvin. Carvin. Carvin and KG are like... Carvin, KG. Standard. It's Carvin, you got KG. Now, the theme of the show, okay? Because mm -hmm. this is... Because there's many heavyweights in this industry. There's people that are very good at certain things. But uh, uh, I want uh, I want uh, people guys. to... Hey. I. What happened? No, she mentioned KG. Heavy uh, she said there's many heavyweights. Uh, now the people are... Uh, 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 guys. Uh, yes, Nina, guys, sometimes you need... She said and, and KG. KG and there's a lot, lot of heavyweights in this industry. Abuti Lolo was next. Abuti Lolo was next. Abuti Lolo, you guys... Laughs in Jam Jam. Anyway, That's very so low, listen. Low. <laughs> so, so the thing is, I, I would want to, if you're going to put a show together, you want your audience to elicit a certain feeling. Mm -hmm. And elicit us, you want to elicit a certain feeling from your audience. You want them to feel a specific way. Elicit us. Who are those five people who? So I want people to feel us. good afterwards. Uh -huh. But I also want them to be to think a little. Yes. So there's people that can do there's st some stuff that is like really cool. Some comics do nostalgic comedy, you, you know, so, and that's very cool and it's super relatable and it's very safe. But other people do stuff that's more like. Cerebral, some people do more like uh, really good impressions, other people do different things. So I'd say Gola. Oh, eh, hang on. So we've got. Wait, Carvin. wait, 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 wait. Carvin. We've got uh, KG. KG, we've got Gola. Wait, Loiso Gola. Loiso Gola, Carvin Goldstone. Gilly. And then we've got Gilly Epta. Without a doubt, Gilly. Uh huh. I'm also on the lineup. Am no, I, am, am I hosting? You're hosting. You're hosting. Yeah. hosting. Yeah. So where are we now? Four. Four. We've got uh, KG, Carvin, Loiso Gola, Kili Epta. 
see. And I'm gonna. And you didn't tell us what your theme is. You just said you want us to think a little, feel good at the end. She's trying to create the theme based on the lineup. I'm gonna go with a. Oof. Okay, can I tell you what, what's going on in my head? Okay, what's going on in my head is I want to put Lazola on. So two Gola brothers. Two Gola Lazlo. Brothers. Hectic. So, okay, two Golas, Laz Gola, Loiso Gola. Those are two Cape Town Okies. Then you've got... Another KG, Cape Town Okie. Who's a K- Cape Town Okie. Then you've got Carvin. Durban. Who's a Durban Okie. Gilly Joburg. Gilly Joburg. Me Joburg. You Joburg. So that's, so that, that, that's a balance. Howdy Pops. Yeah, I think it's actually a good show. I was right here the whole time. Oh, no. Yeah, no, look, you know that I'm a big fan of yours, and I think that you... No, Nina, it's fine. I asked you the question. Uh, no, no, I think based on that, I think that's a correct one. Titi and I are right here with you, same studio. We are surprised, eggs. Looking at... We're like robots on the 30th. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. There will many more. I will many more. We are so, many yeah, more. I mean, um, yeah, I think, you know, I mean, I think there's, there's also, there's comedians I, I really, can I shout out some comedians that I really, I, I really who, who, like at the moment? Yeah, for right? sure. I, I want to know about the young comics. Yes, right? that's what I want to so, say. I want to so, talk so about forget, the young comics. Forget the oldies, because yeah. everyone, you, yeah, everyone in your list is actually an oldie. Yeah. So I want to know who, new comics. Who, who are some of the new so comics. So my newcomer showcase, my newcomer showcase goes like this. It's hosted by Tsitsi. Don't make it of course. Make it feel special now. Look at him, uh, of course. Okay. Um, Wazi Mgunene. Mm-hmm. Mbali Gudazi. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Um, Kate Pinchak. Yes. Um, Lindy Johnson. Oh, Lindy. Oh, Lindy's. Yo, I might bump Laz for, for Lindy. I wouldn't blame you. Hectic. Oh, sorry. You see Lin- why marketing Lin- is important, guys. Lindy's like one of Lindy one of my is a guys. monster. Oh, Lindy. Guys, Lindy Johnson. Oh, she's good. She, you know what? Lindy understands timing. Lindy's got such great timing. Her know? gags are fire. She's very, she's a very she's a format comic, like word for word timing. Or like that one joke about the her neighbor, her, the daughter. Huh? The, I mean, the neighbor, the little girl that's the neighbor that she hates. Oh, oh, the yeah. the yeah, kids yeah. that she yeah, hates yeah, yeah. in her complex, yes. I mean, you guys should hear the joke. It's, but we don't want to ruin yeah, the punchline yeah, for don't. you. When Lindy's here. When Lindy's she'll here, she'll do it. So, yeah, Kate, Lindy, um, Wazi, Mbali, Mbali Tabiso, Tabiso Mklongo. Mm-hmm. You know what's, what's so impressive about your list is that it's mostly, at the moment, it's mostly like acts of. Uh, you know, previously disadvantaged uh, representation in comedy. Which is? Female. Mm. Why did you take so long to say female? Oh, yeah, it's mostly women. <laughs> but let me tell you I know, it's giving the... <laughs> but you know what's... What I love most about that list is... <laughs> it's the previously oh, disadvantaged, you know what he's, non-acknowledged... He's you know what he's experiencing is when we're trying to say black person. <laughs> <laughs> when you take too long. Yeah, yeah, like, no, it's just you know, like a... Uh, the, the people uh, some kind of like... Um, from the, the, you know, like shockers people, man. From you the guys, sun yes. and then I'm like... And now you know how it feels. African, now you know how it feels. African, African like, people. They African just people. like... They're like they like brothers, my brother. <laughs> how, how, how many female comics were there in your time? It was me, to me, uh, Celeste. Uh-huh. You came before Celeste, bro. Yeah. Um, so does you, Tumi Murake, Judy Jakes. Judy Jake. Yeah. Judy Jakes. Uh, there was another chick, uh, white chick. Steron. Steron used to do. No, no, no. Shelly Steron. Shelly. Yeah, it was just basically Judy, myself, and Tumi. And Angel. Angel was also in the mix. So there, came a so there was about like four or five female yeah, four, comics. Yeah, four. And then like 50 guys. Yeah. Mm. And now... And Tracy Class. Tracy Class from Cape Town. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, she's an older a white woman. Um, she's very funny. Yeah. And now, do you feel like there's enough... Mel Jones. Mel Jones. Was yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. But now do you feel like there's enough representation? Can I tell you what the border to entry for female comedians in South Africa is? What? Mm. 
transport. Transport. What? To get to a comedy club that's in the middle of nowhere, that's dangerous, that's late at night, as a woman by yourself. Transport. Mm. Getting to a comedy club when you're an up and coming comic, when you don't have a car, when you, uh, uh, like it no, is. No, because because even till this day, like if Celeste and I are in the same lineup, she'll be like, "Yo, nigga, come pick me up." Ah, uh, uh, why am I? No, she calls me nigga. Uh, Hey, well, nigga, come pick me up. Then, then I'll know. I, no, her voice has got more gruff in it. Like, a nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga. That's it. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. Like, Celeste, there's load shedding. It's network. <laughs> what you're doing. What are you Is it the network or... <laughs> No, but I'm saying even till this day, right? Even with... with That's crazy, it, though. Nina has actually highlighted something very important. A lot of... A location lot of, and a safety? Lot of, yeah, location and safety. Location, safety, it's actually really... Can I tell you why I'm currently not working on a show? Why? Load shedding, bro. I'm, I'm too scared... Because remember we did a... I, I know, we've got to wrap up. <laughs> we've got it. We did that a show a, the other That night. was a subtle sign. Yeah. Hey. Nina just told everyone. Everybody. That now they we did this. Go. Now we have to go. Now everyone is sad. Now everyone is was like, oh, wow. Everybody's yeah. already ah, waiting for the, the we content. Our pops, first uh, female. Yeah. Our first lechua. No, you were enjoying your first, like, you know, um, brilliant person. No, I'm kidding. I don't know who else has been here. They're probably all brilliant. Wow. Brilliant. Hectic. Oh, hectic. No, I was just being a dick. Hey. Okay. Uh, you're you were believe being it? a male t- genital. Uh, yeah. You were being a, I was being a, I was, be, I'm tired and I'm hot. Finished. You are, and that's because you've been Jimmy. Nice. Mm-hmm. We gym up, guys. Late. So yes, the point is, uh, load shedding. I I've even been asking to like go on earlier on a lineup because say now it's raining. If there's load shedding, then there's a pothole, and I get into a thing, and you know my car's got a subwoofer instead of a spit tire. So. <laughs> So, Pretoria. I was looking for the tire. It's a subwoofer. Zero one two. <laughs> That's fake. Run flats. Mm. No, I must get run flats. I don't even have run flats. I thought they were. I thought those were run flats. They're not. And so you got a punch. You're like, oh, yeah, that's what oh. happened. I was so shook. You know, really Nina drives out. a baby Ferrari, bro. Yeah, I do. She drives a baby Ferrari. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to say, and I'm going to ask the editors to please take out all of that fluff from that little bit. So I'm just going to give you like, should we just laugh at something? No. Oh, you guys this keep is, it clean. This is all going to be. No, here we, here we, here. Yeah, here, oh. we, here. That was, yeah. oh, that was a very boring bit. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Yeah. If you um, want to be creative, mm-hmm. professionally, yes. um, make a plan. Don't just shoot in the dark. Make a plan. Have a strategy, especially creative people like us. Even with me now, I've I've got so many ideas, and they just I can I can spit out ideas every day. It's very important for me to stay on track. So you've got to have a. You don't know what to say. This industry, once you blow up, right? St- people are going to come at you. They're going to say, "Oh, there's this show. There's this, this, there's this, there's this, there's this." Uh, sponsor whatever you don't know what to say yes to and you don't know what to say no to if you don't know what your goal is mm. like when you put yes. in a direction in ways Preach, you don't know if you must turn left to Bronco Sprite or if you must turn right to Bronco Sprite if your goal is Bronco Sprite you need to be able to know what to say yes to and what to say no to so Big have sense. a plan and and you know what it's not arrogant to have a plan it's not it's actually correct if you want to do something. If you don't have a plan, it's not going to be achieved. So be brave enough to look at yourself and go, you know what? I believe in me mm-hmm. and I believe that I can achieve this. And w- as soon as you put a plan together, other people start believing in you too, guy. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Other people will believe in you when you believe you- in yourself. And other people will take you seriously when you take yourself seriously. Words from the wise Nina Hasty. Black mm-hmm. Black take you seriously. Mm-hmm. When you take yourself seriously, ladies and gentlemen, seriously speaking, this has been an amazing podcast with the one and only Nina here on Popcorn and Cheese. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take this time to remind every single one of you out there who said that Robert Boy and I were, we ill-treated Primo. Guys, Primo got a full package, Mm -hmm. full (laughs) package. From Kit Kat, okay? 
Did you see the cheese gang saying, hey, hey I can't believe we stole it. <laughs> when we cut the cameras, we gave him chocolates, man. What happened? So, so robot boy. Pops yeah. and Lisha are... Robot boy. Look at you guys. You guys are like, his child. No. Yeah. <laughs> robot boy no. ate a Kit Kat on one of our episodes. Uh. Like this. But he I got a Kit Kat. No! Yeah. Yeah. No! Yeah. yeah. No! He bit the whole thing, bro. What is wrong with you? He was done in, in like two chews, three chews. He was Do, done. Did you uh, kill birds when you were young? Yeah. Yes, but that's not why. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what pops his point, right? Now. Right. So anyway, psychopath behavior. He he bites the chocolate like that. Anyway, people talk about it on social media. Hey, hey, you're not supposed to eat like that. People start tagging us on tutorial videos on how to eat a Kit Kat. Hilarious. They're, they're right. Great. Right. The cheese gang. And then eventually, like three, four eps later, Kit Kat decides to deliver a box to us with a note, basically saying, "Hey guys." We see the thingy on the episode. Yeah, whether you Here's do this, Kit whether you do that. And you can eat it however you like. Be free. But the thing is, when they brought the packages, they brought it for us, Robot and me. Mm. They didn't know that Primo 19 was going to be a, a guest. So Robert and I decided we're going to play with Primo and not give him a bite. But wow. allude to giving him a chocolate the whole time. So like in conversation. Oh, so basically you were acting like a South African man when you're dating. Shop. Yo! Which one is this one? And the bite is... <laughs> Out of shop. Yo. So anyway, so... <laughs> hey. So people actually toxic. got got his own package... Well done. ...of Kit Kat. And we gave him more Kit Kats. Nice. Yes. And... Nina brought us chocolate today. <laughs> See, what goes yeah. around comes around. Yes. When you give, you You receive. get. Mm. Aha. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been yet another episode of Popcorn and Cheese. Can I plug something? Of course. That's what we're... Oh. This is the... You're oh, going to plug something the plug now. Plug yes. The plug section. The plug section. Before you plug yourself, I want to tell you about a place that has a lot of plugs, Nina. What is that? And that's Streaming, Streaming Studios. Ooh. Streaming Studios. Ooh, that was nice. Hey, hey. Bluetooth. Yes, I like that. Hey, hey. Nice. <laughs> Streaming Studios is here to plug you for whatever needs you have, ladies and gentlemen, whether it's podcasting, broadcasting. Streaming Studios. Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. Where not just make your way to their Facebook page, Instagram page, or better yet, phone them on this number we will supply. 010. Yes, 010. Five. Stream. Seven. Wow, wow. <laughs> you even lost your number. Seven. <laughs> what number seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. It's a new seven. Number. It's, a, it's, a new, yeah. it's a new number. Streaming studios, right here in Podcast, where studios should be. <laughs> <laughs> great. That's such a great slogan. Streaming studios, in right here Parkest. in Podcast, where, where studios, studios should, should be. be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I was More thinking when I was on my way here. I was like, I'm so glad I'm not in Randburg. That's, that's what I'm, oh, that's oh, what oh, I'm oh, thinking. Oh, oh. I was like, I have a rule. I do not cross, actually, because uh, technically, actually, Parkers is part of, the parks are technically in the Randburg postal code, like part of the municipality, but it's not. Run back, run back. Yeah. My brother. Yeah, I just. Uh, what do we, uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Oh, wow, well, what's, what's Yo, going? what's happening on the 30th of July, Pops? <laughs> oh, listen, so, on the 30th of July, ladies and gentlemen, ho, ho, Sunbet Arena is going to be filled with cheese boys, with cheese girls, with chillers, and Nina Haste is going to be yeah, there, ladies and gentlemen. Trust. On the lineup, we've got, ha, <laughs> ha, the one and only, Pops, yes. Murikwane, along you? with <laughs> Mac G, Sol Penduka. <laughs> And of course, not forgetting the one and only Eugene Koza, <laughs> Celeste Nduli, yes. Cubs at the Small, wow. Makadzi, wow. and many more. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Come to see who many more will be only on the 30th of July at Sunpet Arena. Road to 1 million. We're on 920 right now. 920,000. subscribers. So please subscribe. Cheese gang. Let's get to a million by... Cheese gang. Let's, let's help the other ones in the other, yes. in the other department. The podcast network yeah. needs... But the cool Cheese gang. Yeah. If they grow, we grow. We grow together. Yes. Yes, sir. Nina. 
Would yes. you like to plug something into the Dwin plug here? I would. When yes, uh, when is this airing? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. For real, for real. Yes. Wowzers! All right, guys, I'm building uh, a show. Uh, it's called Otherwise You Well. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's it's available. Yeah, the whole name. Uh, of the show, show is called Otherwise You Well. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. No, no, no. They, we'll see. We'll see as to oh. the. Oh, we'll like see we'll as see to, when it's on. It's called Otherwise You Will. The channel um, exists. It, it doesn't have any subscribers yet, but um, the show is very exciting. It's in edits. I don't know when it's going to launch yet. I, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll but see. what I'm saying we'll is, see. can you guys, can you guys just do me a favor? Yes. Keep an eye on me, okay? When when it launches, do you mind if I if I come and chat to you guys, and maybe I'll come and chat to your other friends there within the network of things? Keep keep an eye on me because I really feel like otherwise you well is going to help people a lot. It's a comics approach to wellness, and it's a it's about mental health, but it's not sad. All right. Sounds dope. Well, we still keep the eye on you, or can we uh, look back I don't, to the camera? I know you've been keeping your eye on me. Damn. Oh. Hey. Oh. hey. <laughs> and on that white chocolate note. Follow me on Instagram, that Nina Hasty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the one and only Nina Hasty, aka Make It Nasty, aka, AKA Nikki Namanje, and aka the host of the new show that we'll see coming we'll see. soon. Actually, it has Instagram page. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's and otherwise you will on Instagram and follow that Nina Hasty on Instagram. So yeah, follow Instagram and otherwise you will. So that if you Nina know, the tag is well. I'm an idiot and at what? Nice <laughs> sugar. Uh, guys, can you put the things? <laughs> we can the one. graphics guys do the things? We'll put the things and if you know you well, follow at otherwise you well to be well and where a well aware. A well a well. A well a well. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, last plug. Do you have a plug, my boy? Yeah. Um, I'm operating something with Shivers Regal. Beep, 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 beep. Hey. Beep, 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 beep. Weren't we talking what about brands the other day? That, Don't uh, buy us our own. That is what I'm amazing. Then you talking about, eh, me, I do brands at what, what, that speak to me. Now you slapping a Shivers. Nine, nine. Hey? Yeah, basically... <laughs> And I dropped the video, right? <laughs> no, let me say this, because really a lot of people were taken back, video, right? Guys, we're talking about brands. Yeah, no, no, you know, brands that fit my portfolio. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't drink. Mm -hmm. During the week, I'm mm -hmm. sitting, scrolling. Next thing, never. <laughs> <laughs> Shivers! <laughs> Yo! Not in post cap, guys. Guys, have a plan. Say yes or no. Does it serve the goal? No, Does guys. Does it serve the goal? Maybe it serves hey, the goal. Maybe it serves the goal. Don't listen to pops. He Yo, explain him. So basically, on the video, now there's a difference between product and brand, right, mm. ladies and gentlemen. On the video, I'm not engaging with brand. I mean product. I'm not consuming product, and I'm not engaging with product. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's something we're breaking in the industry where. If you don't bet, it doesn't stop Hollywood bets from not working with you. Yeah, because I don't, I don't necessarily work with alcohol brands. And then when um, Savannah, for example, started putting money into comedy, comedy yeah. I was like, okay, that's a brand affiliation for me. And not product. So, yeah, understand. exactly. Because yeah. if your messaging is the same as my messaging, I'm, I, I, I'm willing to work with yeah, you. Yeah, then the brands can align. And I've been working with alcohol brands before. Like Lockdown House Party was Hunters. Mm. Bilato's got Soccer City. Mm. I did Boiler Room is well. yeah, was, Ballantines. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so it's about working with brands that understand your brand and communicate to who you are mm. and then not product because that's where the, we break the line and we draw the line. So yeah, shout out to that. Mm. Okay, are you a cold dude? Because <laughs> you are with sheep. I'm, oh, uh, wow. <laughs> hey, wow. Hey. Okay, guys. Hey, hey. All right, so. I'm get real. guys. I'm get cartelli. Okay. Cartelli. okay. Mm. Unina Ukatele. Hey, when the Zulu comes out, now nah, I must know. <laughs> she came here all like this, say, nah, I think Cartele. <laughs> yeah. So, let's just say hypothetically they send you product. Uh, who are you giving it to? You want to come visit my house? All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> I'm going to Midrand right after this. You live in Midrand? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are no. doing so well. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> 2050. <laughs> 2050 events apply. Will supply. That's funny, that's funny. My mid range home. <laughs> I've got camping chairs at my place to, wow. if you need to feel comfortable. If you just want to come camp, then just say so. <laughs> hey! Guys, we need to end this podcast because it is a family show and we want to thank every single one of you, Cheese Boys, Cheese Gang, we thank hey, and Cheese Girls. We thank you for your continued support. Uh, remember, 30th of July, Road to 1 Million uh, subscriber event, 10th of June, Pop Pop's birthday comedy show. And uh, of course, congratulations to Roboto, 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 Roboto for signing Roboto, the Shivers Roboto. deal. Yes. It doesn't rain, but it pours. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. That and then Nina of course, Hastie. That Nina Hasty. That, that Nina Hasty. Nina Follow Hastie. me on Instagram. Follow 20 me 20 years in the game. She's turning 40 next month. So please remember to wish her a happy birthday on the... 19th of May. 19th of May. May. Save that date. I want us to all flood Nina's timeline and wish her a happy 40th. Thank you. All Actually, right. that's a great day for me to uh, launch my podcast. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. So on the on, on her your birthday. birthday. On my birthday. She's launching the... Okay, well, now, now my so, producers yeah. are <laughs> under pressure. In for a treat. All right, so from me, the corn that pops. And the cheese that's great, we are Robo Pops. <laughs> what a pops. With a little. Hey, Wena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Wena. Hey, Wena. Hey, Robo Pops. Hey, Wena. That's the funniest thing you've said the whole episode. Robo Pops. Wow, guys, I'm hot and I'm tired. Bye. Thanks hey, for having me. Hey, Wena. Hey, wait. What's wrong with Robo Pops? Hey, wait. Hey, Robo Pops. You look at it. Hey, I'm. Hey, yo. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Robo Pops. What is that? I'll be the machis girl, the machis boy there. We. Motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a lala story. Pets and I'm a guest, a nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. So it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese.